G'day all you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here as always a cracking g'day to you too. Alright so today's uh, playthrough I've actually got a course from the Dream Team Design Contest going on over there at the TGC Tours. Now I'm not going to play all of these, there's a lot of other bigger channels out there than this Aussie Bogans channel so I'll let them do that but I am going to play the ones where the designers have actually approached me and said dude go and have a hit on this, you'll enjoy it. So that's what we're going to do today. Alright, so today's course is the Eucalypt National and it is designed by Rod81 Simo. Alright, so let's get into it. He's an Aussie bloke here and this sounds like an Aussie course from the name and the description. So I'm uh, actually um, quite excited to go out and have a hit of this one. It's only had 54 hits. Yeah, that's, um, that's very surprising for a Dream Team um, course. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, what have we got on in the way of settings? We have fairways are normal, greens are normal, green spin is fast, everything else is default. And we will be playing from the gold tees and they are measuring 7,463 yards. All right, now's the time to grab a chair, grab a beer, or even your virtual clubs. And yeah, let's go check it out and go for a swing. All right, here we are out on the first tee. So let's go and rip up the camera and go and check out this course. From the pictures, it looks absolutely beautiful. All right, let's scoot back here and up a little. And there's the plot there. Look at that. This course looks absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get down and check out the finer detail. I might just wander straight down through here. Let's go down through the front gate area. Just look at that. What an entrance. What a bloody entrance. This is insane. Beautiful clubhouse area here. Nice garden work out the front. There's some buildings over there. Let's sort of, we'll wander around this way, I think. We'll sort of head around towards the car park area. This looks absolutely insane, this course. Very clean, very well done. Nice tennis court area. It looks like a very exclusive club. Nice car park area here. Let's sort of wander back through here, back through this area here. Again, nice little water feature out the front or the side, we shall say. A little practice green down here. There's my little dude standing on the tee. All right, what have we got at the back? Oh, we've got a swimming pool. We might even go for a dip at the end of this. We'll see how I feel, eh? But wow, absolutely beautiful looking course. Now, there is quite a bit of a write-up about this course. I will post the link in the description below, as per usual. And um, I might try my best to read some of it out as well. Let's go down through this area here. What have we got in here? Oh, nice little um, greenskeeper area. Oh, yeah, where they've got all the different dirts and everything, just to um, tidy up the place every now and then with it. If we can wander down the path. Let's see if we can do that. Is this like a pro shop maybe? Or I'm not sure what that is. Could be a pub. Hell yeah. <laughs> if it is. But there's a nice driving range here. He's got a nice little parking lot as well for that. So this, wow, this looks absolutely insane. All right, I might just pull up to a nice level here. And let's um fly along. And I'll try and read out some of this um description he's got. So bear with me. It could be a little bit longer than usual. But it says here, located 35 kilometres to the east of Melbourne's Sandbelt region lies the Dandenong Ranges. It is here that during Dr. Alistair McKenzie's tour of Down Under during 1926, where he undertook a prolific design consultation trip that influenced the renovation of some 20 courses, including Royal Melbourne and Kingston Heath would also be introduced to a site that would later become home to a course known as Australia's Augusta. All right, uh, let's um, sort of turn around here and we'll read the next little part of it. But wow, absolutely beautiful looking course. Well, he's got some nice little water down here. Now with, with the reading of it, it's um, I'm kind of missing all this goodness, as I like to call it sometimes, but wow, absolutely beautiful. Nice big water tower over here. Let's um, quickly wander over there. Very nice area. This is this is absolutely exquisite. <laughs> if that's the word, I'm not sure. 
But hell, it's beautiful planting. Oh, he's got a nice little... Oh, is this a halfway house? Oh, I think it is. Oh, I think it is. Awesome. We might check that out even. All right, so let's... um. Let's wander sort of back down this way and I'll see if I can catch the rest of this um, ride up for you. Uh, now it says here, during the historic trip, Mackenzie partnered up with two people that he trusted to carry out the works of his projects after his departure. These two men were Alex Russell and Mick Morecambe. One of, the, sorry, one of the projects involved turning in, turning that site in the Dandenong Rangers into a championship caliber facility that would become known as the Eucalypt National. So here we are, and wow, this looks absolutely insane. I just got goosebumps reading that. That was, that's a good write-up. That is a very good write-up. All right, here we are. So I reckon we just get back to the first tee, and yeah, we'll start swinging. Let's get into it. All right, here we go, hole one, par five. Let's start ripping into this. Um, what have we got, 551 yards, 29 feet up. We got 11 mile winds today. Wow. And again, people, we are ripping around this course with the master difficulty. So if you do have kids in the, in the room, you know the deal. Anyway, let's go. Um, 12 miles going with us. Ooh, let's point it right there. See how we go. Come on, baby. Oh, slight fast. This might be good. Get the bounce. Oh, yes. There we go. But wow, this course looks absolutely so clean and beautiful. Okay. Uh, what have we got? 218 remaining. Six feet up. We got the three hybrid in the hand. 11 mile wind. That's not going to happen. All right, three iron. Oh, this might be this might be pretty damn good here. Let's poke it out there a bit. What's our lie? Ooh, wow. It is a par five. Now, we could play short. I think I'll launch it with the three iron. Let's see how we go. Actually, let's bring it out a little bit towards this bunker. I don't like doing it, but I'm going to try it. Oh, we, get a per oh, we got the perfect, but wow, that swing line was just... Straight up shit. All right, little lob wedge splash. Let's put it out near the hole. Let's go. All right, come on. Oh, no! Oh, I was about to say get in the hole. That's okay. We're still we're still there for a birdie. Nice little opening hole. Or I should say big hole. <laughs> um, Alright, let's keep going. What have we got? Hole 2. Uh, par 4. 341 yards. 20 feet up. 8 mile winds going with us. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to drive this. I think we might just play smart and go the 3 wood. We could try and shape it though. We could try and shape this. With my track record with the driver though the old swing tempo I don't think this is going to end up good um, all right let's put it there We're 10 miles now oh rip the fucking fast in it that's in the trees shit Be actually bounce off the tree off the tree yes light rough what a shot what a shot Okay. Uh, so we've got eighty-four remaining, twelve up. That was that was just sheer luck. That was. Uh, Gap wedge pitch. Nope. 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 And more nope. Normal sandwich. Normal lob wedge. Here we go. This is looking better. Let's put that. Up. Oh, just how much? I don't. I don't think the wind's going to affect it too much. Up and over the tree, get up the slope. 
And stop. Nice. There we go. Okay, what's our grid speed? Oh, 181. Holy hell. We're in for a fun time on the greens today. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, wow, rim job. Alright. Nice little part. Let's keep going. Okay, hole three, par three, 174 with 29 down. We've got a hell of a lot of wind that's going to help us get there too. So, 29 down. Let's take um, that and that wind. Let's go the nine. Let's see what it, let's see what this does. Hopefully, I don't get too much of a fast into this because look where I'm aiming. Oh no, we get a slow instead. Which might not even reach the green. Oh no, we oh we oh we gotta roll on. That's gonna leave me with one nasty downhill putt. Oh wow, this this is going off. This has gotta go off. Right, let's put the pin back in there. I'm going to I'm, I'm not going to putt this as much as what it tells me to, I don't think. Oh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. Look how far I'm going out. And it's going to pick up pace here. That's going to turn. Come on, easy mate, easy. Oh, this could be a bogey. I shouldn't have said it. Oh, it is too. You asshole. Anyway, back to even. Back to even. Right, let's keep going. Um, all right, what have we got? Hole four, par four. Uh, driver, yes, please. Nine miles going with us. Let's put that out here. I can guarantee you I'm going to probably rip it fast into this. Not intentionally, but don't have much margin to play with over there on the old swing line. Oh, no, we got a slow, slight slow. Get through the tree. It's not too bad. What's our sight line going to be here? Coming into the green. Oh, that's um, that is not good. We got pitching wedge normal. Actually, the pitching wedge should send it skyward. This might not be too bad here. It's our lie. Do I take a bit off this? We do have that wind that's going to help us get there. Almost half tempted to go the gap wedge into this. Go the pitching wedge. Oh yes, up and over the trees. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, there is a slope there. Is it going to come back? Nope, it's going to sit on it. Absolutely beautiful planting. The just the scene, the scenery on this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, 23 feet, four inches down. We're going way out here. Ooh. That might be good. Oh, that is in. Kaboom. <laughs> yes. Back to one under. All right, let's go. 
Um, all right, hole five, par four, 455 yards, 12 feet down. The driver, we've got the wind. Oh, the wind. We're going to have to shape it a little here. We're definitely going to have to shape this. Try and... We are going to send it out in the direction that the wind is going to. Oh, kick out of the rough. There we go. Rip the massive fast in it, though. I've been having trouble lately with the old master clubs, trying to find my tempo, trying to get it get it right anyway. Um, all right, 173, one down. We've got seven miles coming at us, six iron. We might play the five into this. Nasty lie where we are. Slight fast. Oh, that needs to come down. Holy wow, we've we've put way too much hip into that. All right, chipping back on. Beautiful planting though. I like the uh, the flowers. I always say I'm no tree hugging hippie, but they do add the um give the course some nice colour. And even that water tower there looks pretty cool though. He's got it tucked in behind the trees, but that's that's very nice. Um, okay, lob wedge chip. Let's. Move that forward a little bit. Get slight downhill to the to the hole. Oh, you bugger! A little fast. And we're in. Nice par. Um, all right, hole six, par three, 182 yards, 18 feet up, seven miles. It's going to help us get there. Let's bring that back to the six. Um, do we go the six? Seven. I think we'll go the six. Let's um, add a bit of hole off to it, just a little bit. Slight little fast. Which way is this going to kick? Uh, it's just going to go straight. That's not too bad. That worked out quite well. Same, just the outside edge of the cup. Oh, beautiful. Two under. Not that the score matters, but it's just an added bonus. Um, all right, hole seven, par four, uh, 442 yards, 32 feet down, nine coming at us. We got three wood. Nope. Let's send it right down there. Ninety-eight percent. Slight fast. Oh, hold the fairway. Get that fairway. Okay, not bad at all. Alright, 160 remaining, two feet up, 10 miles coming at us. Let's bump that up to the six. I'm feeling that wind's gonna hold me up a little. What's our lie? Okay. Oh, I took power out of that, 91%. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. No. Hey, that ball floats. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay. Let's go back across the water, eh? Lob wedge pitch. No. Lob wedge flop. Sand wedge flop. Gap wedge flop. Pitching wedge flop. That's looking better. We do have that win though. A little worried about this. Oh, 
<laughs> Not with that massive fast. Oh, I can't believe we went in the water on that one. You're all joking. Oh, double bogey coming up. We're going back to even here. Is that slightly... No, it's saying it's level. Oh, I underhit it. I underhit it. That's not going to get there. That is not getting to the hole. No, we're bloody near it. This could be a triple bogey, to be honest. No, just the double. Oh, back to even. Wow, we're off to a rough start. Oh, started all right. Went to shit. Started going good. Back to shit. <laughs> um... Okay. Uh, what do we got? Hole eight, par four. What do we got? Uh, four hundred and forty-five yards, forty-eight feet up. Ten miles going with us. Um, so yeah, like I said, I wasn't going to cover all these, but hell, if um, enough people want me to play more of them, <laughs> I won't argue. Beautiful courses. Um, okay, let's um. Driver. Oh, we get that wind. That might slow us up nicely. Ooh. Let's point it there. Oh, that should hold the fairway, surely. Yep, we're good. We are good. Let's keep going. So, 175 remaining, 24 feet up. We have the 6 iron. Let's go to the 5. We've got a bit of wind. 3 is too much. So we can take some power out of three. Ooh, that's all sorts of nasty. Another fast. It's gonna get up there though. Ooh, it's definitely up there. A little bit of a break. Could be too hard. Nope, that's in the hole. Hell yes it is, he says. See that? In the hole. Smell my finger. Alright, let's keep going. Um, Alright, uh, hole 9. Par 5. 590 yards, 80 feet down. Last of the front 9 here. And that, that fairway funnels down. We're going to have a nice view coming into the... Um, into the clubhouse area. All right, 11 miles. Let's put that there. Oh, that's a slow. Shit. That needs to kick out. Yep, there was no way that was coming out, was it? Oh, you're kidding. Absolutely stuff that. We could just play down to the rough, I'm guessing. I'm, I, I guess. Like, there's no way I'm going through that. No way. Oh, that worked out nice. That's all right. We well, might be, might still be in a chance for a birdie if I could put it near the hole. <laughs> he looked like a creeper. He's a creeper. Oh. <laughs> Just peering behind the bushes. No, <laughs> she's not far out. That was funny. All right, um, 161. What have we got? Four feet down. Seven miles coming at us. Let's go to six. Oh, a bit of a lie. Actually, I'm half tempted to come back to the seven, and that could... Yeah, it's all ro it's rolling down towards the pin there. Oh, we get the perfect. This is this might be good, you know. This might be good. 
Oh, this is really good. That's a golf shot. That could be shot of the day. Oh, that just dropped in. All right, back. Oh, two under. That's quite a colourful scorecard so far. All right, hole 10, par 4. Uh, what have we got? 4.49, 18 feet down. Nine going with us. Let's point that there. Give it a nice big smack. Shit! I was so confident about that too. I'm like, yep, this one's a perfect. But no, in the pearly white sand. Uh, seven iron coming from the sand. Let's just bump it up to the six, maybe. Maybe even the five. Uh, I think we might play the five out of here. Oh, we're going to get up on there? Come on, get up, get up. Oh, no, there's no way. Look at that false front. Oh, that's a doozy. That's a doozy of a chip. It might hit the top, though. It might catch the top and... Oh, I don't want this coming back. That would be rather embarrassing. Oh no, that slowed it down nicely. I was hoping it would roll out a little bit more than that. But we do pick up the nice par. I love the trees on this course. Um, Alright, hole 11, par 4. Driver, we got 11 miles going with us. So let's aim at this tree. You watch, I'll get a perfect or something, or a nice slow and hit the trunk and come back at me. Oh, there's the slow shit. What is going on? That's in the mulch. That is not good. Not good at all. Seventy percent, eighty. Let's go to six. We need to get rid of these trees. Somewhat, we might even shape this one a little here. That wind's going to keep it out. Oh, we got a perfect though. That's a bonus. And that has left me one nasty ass part. when it stops oh yes that is nasty okay we're gonna punch it up this though so I might not I might break a bit question is how much that's it start putting on the brakes Okay, here we go. We could save this hole here. And we managed to scrape through with a par. My God. All right, so still remaining two under. What do we got? Hold 12, par four, 346 yards. 42 up, nine going with us. Oh, you know what? This could be a shot of a lifetime here. Can't, I seriously cannot help myself sometimes. I don't know why I do this. I cannot help it. It's like a, it's like an addiction. It's like I, I just got to see if I can get around there. Oh, find a gap in the trees. Find a gap in the. Oh wow, we just cleared the whole lot. Remember that if this one gets on tour. Okay, lob edge pitch, no. If 
flop. Yeah, it was flop. Pitch and wedge flop. Uh, pitch. Let's see, what do we got in the way of normal? Normal. Lob wedge. Can I fucking we bring that back? Damn it. Not far enough. Gonna take some power out of this. Oh, we, wow, that was way too much. That was just, um, that was just silly. That was absolutely silly. After all that, clearing the trees and everything, I gained nothing. I should have pitched it. Oh, those pitch shots, I've just been, I've been bitten too many times by them. Okay, gap wedge, chip, oh no, let's go sandwich, because that is going to roll down here. That is going to get a roll here. Yeah, that didn't come back nowhere near as much as I thought. We could be chipping here again. Goodbye, ball. Goodbye, green. Oh, no. All right, let's try and pitch it this time. Let's see what happens. Lob wedge pitch. See, so go fuck yourself. Nah. Just seriously, go, go, go and fuck yourself. Oh, you're kidding! You're kidding me! <laughs> oh, and they're gonna give me a replay too. You're joking. Oh, I'm so sorry for the language. Oh, I am so sorry for the language. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. All right, well, okay, let's keep going. Oh, I've got a tear in my eye. Okay, hole 13, par five, uh, 581 yards, 25 feet down. All right, let's, um, yep, let's put that there. Oh, I can't believe that last hole. We pull out the pitch, and it goes in the hole after all that. Oh, that first pitch, though, that was um, that was quite terrible. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, what are we up? 253.35 up. We have the three wood. Ooh, yeah, we do. Let's see how far. I think we'll just... Let's put it just in front, eh? Or not. Or oh, not. Oh, this would have to be one of my worst rounds. Like, yeah, worst plays on such a beautiful course, too. I think I've been stitched up here. Um, okay. Lob wedge pitch. No, you know what? I can, if we can flop it, I will. Sandwich flop, gap wedge flop. Yeah, totally. All right, splash it. Oh, what is going on? <clears throat> Pardon me, what is going on at the moment? I have just lost it. My brain has just turned to mush. More than usual. Oh yeah, nice. Rim job in the hole. Let's keep going. Okay, uh, what do we got? 187, oh sorry, hole 14. Par 3. 187 yards, 37 down. Hopefully that's the worst of my um, this almighty crap play behind us. So what do we got? 37 down. Let's take 15 off that. Let's, um, so we need to... Plus that two, 
Let's play the 8 iron into this. We've got that wind that's going to help us get there. That's just dropped off a bit. Oh, we get the perfect, and this is going straight at the hole. Wouldn't it be funny if I got a hole in one on this one? After all that. There we go, that's not bad at all. Not bad, mm hmm, he says. Okay, um, 14 feet, 2 inches up. And I'm sorry for the language, sometimes I just get carried away. But I'm sure you have all let it fly on a golf course before. Um, okay, let's. It's gonna turn a little bit here. Oh, nice. Back to two under. Okay, hole 15, par four. What have we got? 313 yards. Eight feet up. Oh, this is just tempting fate. But there is no way in hell that I'm going to do it. I think I might just go a three iron. I think that'll be the smartest option. We got a perfect off the tee though. That's a bonus. Wasn't with the driver, but it still counts. Okay, um, oh, beautiful planning this. Uh, what do we got? 92 yards, four feet up. Fair bit of wind that's going to push me too, so let's let's take some power out of this lob wedge here. Fair bit of wind actually. Oh, that's pretty funky. Actually, what was that doing? Okay, let's just give it a little bit more again, eh? Come on, wind, bring it round. That's not bad. Oh, it's one of these putts. You think it's straight, but it turns on you. Oh no, that went straight. <laughs> it actually went straight that time. How many times have you had that putt though, where it looks straight, you hit this perfectly straight line, like in the, in the way of your putt, it's perfectly straight and it turns. And you're like, what the hell was that? But this is a beautiful side off the tee. The the um just the whole trees and the haziness of that is very nice. All right, uh, what do we got? Hole sixteen, par four, four hundred and thirty nine yards, nineteen feet up, ten miles. Coming back at us a bit here. Let's see if we can nail it down through there. Not with that slow. That's going in the bunker. Or is it? Yes, it is. In the pearly white sand. Alright, 16th hole. Let's get it done. 203, 23 up. We got the 3 iron. Let's rip out the hybrid and fully send this sucker. Oh, wow, we got a hold of it too. We've got a hold of it coming out of that. I'm glad I didn't go the three iron. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, a little bit of a putt. Um... Possibly there. Maybe. No, that's going to stay out. That's staying out there. Just too far out. Alright, we managed to pick up a nice little par though. Alright, 
actually we were three under. When did that happen? Okay, hole 17, little, uh, second last hole, par three. What have we got? 253, 58 down. Holy hell. All right. Let's, um, so that's playing about, I'm going to say, three hybrid plus that wind. Possibly here. This might work. Like fast. Oh, damn. That wind has held me up. It's got, oh, it's got a nice little bounce and roll. There is a little bit of a hill there. I don't think it's going to get up. Nope. Um, Alright, so. 36 feet up. One foot up. Oh, almost hit that. That would have been bad. Oh, that's too hard. Or is it? It's going to turn. He's like, yep. That's where I should have gone. But I'm not going to. Alright. Again, another little par. Alright, here we go. 18th hole. Can we do something special on this one? What do we got? Par 5. Oh, yeah. Uh, not that I'm any good at them. But anyway, 544 yards, five feet up. Six miles. That's got a nasty slope to it, that fairway. Let's point it way out here. Anticipating a fast into it, no doubt. I'll probably get a slow now that I'm saying that. No, slight fast. I don't think we I don't think we ever nailed a perfect today with the driver off the tee. Oh, I love how this is sloped. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh. Oh, okay. Was not expecting that. Alright, let's just... um. Let's go about there. What have we got? 234. Actually, I don't think we're going to be able to shape that. There's no way. We, we could try. We could sure as hell try. Again, another one of my ridiculous shots. But if it pays off. Oh shit, look at this. Look at this! If that goes in the hole... Oh my god, that was a shot and a half. I think that was shot of the day. Wow, man, we've had some ups and downs on these courses. On this course, sorry. Look, he's waving to everyone. There's no one there, mate. How did that stay out? How? That was for an eagle. That would have just topped the day right off. How did that stay out? That hardly even turned. It didn't turn. Alright, nice little birdie on the last hole. Yes, stamp that in. Stamp that hand down. Four under. Wow, what a round. Like I said, we've had some ups and downs on that one. Man, I really enjoyed that. That was great. Ooh, what did I get there? That was a... Oh, again. That was a cracking course. All right, there you have it. The Eucalypt National. Absolutely beautiful course. And again, that was designed by Rod81 Simo. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Again, sorry for the language, but yeah, he's probably starting to get used to me by now. Especially if I have a bad round. <laughs> oh wow, that was that was awesome. Um, all right, now we gotta we gotta rake the shit out of that. Boom, there it is. 
All right, hell yes. Well done, dude. Good luck in the competition. And by all means, if you do like this, you can smash that thumbs up, smash the button, subscribe. It does help out the channel. And well, it helps out me too. It keeps me sort of motivated. It's like, yes, people do, are liking these and everything. They're there. Anyway, I'm going to get a beer. Holy hell. Later.